Getting started with Cloud Library is very easy. Start off by visiting the library website. Go to www.picnet.org, hover over Digital Library, then select eBooks and Audiobooks. Scroll down until you see Cloud Library. Click on the Cloud Library icon. Once at the Cloud Library website, hover over Get the App. Then select the appropriate version of Cloud Library for your computer or device. In my case, I am using Windows, so I will click on Windows. Scroll down to the bottom of the page until you see Download the Windows app. Click on the button to start the download of Cloud Library for Windows. Select where you would like the download to be saved, then click Save. Next, navigate to where you downloaded the file using Windows File Explorer. Double click on the Cloud Library installer to begin the installation of Cloud Library. Accept all of the default installation options. Choose the option to run Cloud Library. You can now close down Windows File Explorer. In a few moments, Cloud Library will launch. Now let's start setting up Cloud Library for our library collection. At the Welcome to Cloud Library screen, simply click Next. Under Select a Country, choose Canada, then click Next. Under Select a Province, choose Ontario then click Next. Finally, under Select Your Library, scroll down until you see Pickering Public Library. Choose that and click Next. You will be prompted to enter your Pickering Public Library card number and PIN. You must agree to the legal terms, then click Login. If this is your first time using Cloud Library, you will be prompted to automatically generate an ID for Cloud Library, which is recommended. Once you have chosen an option, simply click Activate. Cloud Library is now set up. You are ready to download ebooks and audiobooks. Using Cloud Library on your mobile device is equally as easy. On Android, you would select Google Play Store. On iPhone, you would select App Store. I'm going to select Google Play. Next, search for Cloud Library. Then click Install to install the app on your mobile device. In my case, I have already installed the app. Locate the app on your mobile device. Then tap on the Cloud Library icon to launch. Tap on the screen to continue. Select Canada as the country. Select Ontario as the province. Lastly, select Pickering Public Library as the library. Then tap on Next. You must accept all of the terms and conditions by tapping on Accept. Next, fill in your library card number and PIN. Then tap Login. You can simply skip the welcome screens or tap the arrow to continue. When prompted for application tour, Simply tap OK. That's it. Cloud Library is now set up on your mobile device. You can tap My Books or tap Search to begin searching for ebooks and audiobooks.
launch the newly installed Cloud Library app from the desktop icon or from the Windows menu. In my case, I will simply double click on the desktop icon. Once Cloud Library launches, you will be immediately taken to the featured section. This section simply highlights all of the popular titles currently on Cloud Library. You can also browse Cloud Library collections. You can select from either fiction, nonfiction, or even teens and kids. Within the various sections, you have categories. You can hide and unhide categories as you wish. Simply click to hide and unhide. It's that easy. All of your checked out ebooks and audiobooks will be listed under My Books, as well as any holds you have placed on titles. Because this is the first time we're using Cloud Library, this screen is empty. Let's start adding some titles. Search for the titles you want. You will then have a list of results. Cloud Library supports both ebooks and audiobooks. Ebooks are designated with the book icon. Audiobooks are designated with the headphone icon. Because all of these titles are available to borrow, we see borrow buttons on all of them. Some titles on Cloud Library will not be available as they will be checked out to other clients. We can at this point add ourselves to the hold list on a particular title, or if we want to restrict our search to just titles that are available, we can set a filter. Click on Filters and choose Available Now. At this point, we can also restrict the format that we want. Titles displayed now are all available. Let's borrow a book. Head back to our search results, select your title, and click Borrow. Then click Borrow again. You will be immediately taken to My Books where your ebook will start downloading. To read a book, click My Books, then select the title. Navigate through the pages by clicking on the left and right arrow buttons or click on the menu button to see the table of contents. You can increase or decrease the font size as you wish. You can also place a virtual bookmark. Click on the bookmark icon to bookmark the page you wish to bookmark. Describe your bookmark then click Save. Bookmarks can be found under the menu icon under Bookmarks. Simply double click to jump to your bookmark. Let's move on to the Cloud Library mobile app. Launch Cloud Library on your mobile device. As you can see, the ebook that we downloaded on our Windows computer is now available on the mobile app. Simply click the title, then read. You will need to allow permission for Cloud Library to download the ebook onto your device. Wait for the title to download. You will then be taken to your last read position. Tap on the screen to access the menu bar. Then adjust the brightness and font size to your liking. You also have day and night modes depending on what time of day you're reading. You will also have access to all of your saved bookmarks. Just like on the desktop, we have featured items. 
scroll left to right to view items within a particular category, or scroll up and down to see the other categories. We also have filters just like the desktop app. Select your desired format, specify availability, and even choose your language. Then tap apply. We can search for items just like the desktop app. Search for your title, then tap on the results. Now let's try an audiobook. Find an audiobook that you wish to listen to. Click on Borrow. Click on the title in My Books. This will immediately launch a web browser. Think and Grow Rich, 1937 edition. The original 1937. Now let's try an audiobook on our mobile device. Select the audiobook that we previously checked out. The audiobook will now start downloading. A progress indicator will be shown. Think and Grow Rich, 1937 edition. The original 1937 unedited. Using the mobile app, you can also choose your playback speed. You can also go back and move forward chapters as well as rewinding and fast-forwarding in 15-second increments. Let's return an item. Click on List View. Click Return on the title you wish to return. Click Return again. Then confirm by clicking Yes. Please note there are no overdue fees associated with eBooks. To return an item in the mobile app, select the title under My Books, tap Return, tap OK to return the eBook. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.